Hello, I'm Willem Pacho. I'm a consultant paediatric surgeon. This is a whistle top store of the ESIM portable uh, laparoscopic box simulator, which folds up, closes down, easily transportable, pops up, has space with inside it for all of the disposables, practice models, and instruments. It's optimized for use with smartphone and tablet devices. I often just use my smartphone, point the camera through the aperture, start the Surge Track app. If I've got a quick five minutes, I want to do a bit of warm up for a complex lap case, for example, I'll just use that. If you have a tablet though, it's even better because the screen is great. With either a tablet or a smartphone through an adapter, you can plug it into a bigger screen monitor and that gives you an even better view. So, so ESIM is the hardware, Surge Track is the software. It's an application which is essentially three things. It is a training curriculum, a series of modules and courses of increasing difficulty. It gives you objective performance feedback by mapping the movement of the instruments, by tracking the movement with inside the box. And it puts all this together in an online portfolio so that you can demonstrate skills progression. So let's demonstrate it. You open the app, you click Start Task, you choose, your module. When you open this up, you get some text to describe it and a video to watch to show you what to do. When you click start task, it starts the camera of your device and then you can see what's going on inside the box. If your device has got a flash, click this button and it gives you a nice coaxial light. If your device doesn't have a flash or there isn't great light, uh, there's an LED strip inside which just can be plugged in using a USB. Take the uh, instruments, put stickers, red stickers on the right, blue on the left, pop them in here and complete the task. And while you're doing this, the software is mapping the movement of these instruments. Complete the task and click end. And the application will then display these metrics, how far your instruments have moved, uh, how smooth that motion has been, your average speed, what percentage of time the instruments were on or out of the operative field. The raw numbers will start to mean more over time as you map trends and spot patterns. We also give you some natural language feedback that gives you some pointers to work on, for example, being more ambidextrous if the distance, bet the, uh, distance between each hand has been significant, or focus on keeping your instruments within the operative field if they've been out with the operative field for a long time. You can, if you're particularly proud of their performance, you can share it with people through the usual type of routes. Uh, if you've done something and you're not quite sure what it was, but you felt it was, it was good, say you're doing laparoscopic suturing and it felt to flow better than previously, and you want to revise what it was you did, click this button and you can re-watch your video. Um, if you've completed the task in one of the target times as specified um, in the module, that when you started, you can click submit for grading and that will then be sent off to an assessor. What the assessor sees is a list of tasks that have been submitted to them. Take this one for example. There's a video that shows what was done. A timestamp at the bottom shows you how quickly it was done. And then you grade them A, B or C according to the time that the task was completed in. And you watch the video to make sure they did actually complete it, not just set the camera running. You then have an OSAT assessment scale uh, handling of instruments, flow of procedure, and respect for tissues, a Likert scale one to seven for each of those procedures that you can use to give a little bit more feedback to the trainee. You don't, you don't have to use that, um, but you can if you want to. There's also a free text box for a little bit more feedback to the individual. The individual can also see their history, all the tasks that have been performed, um, the number of time, the, the number of time, the amount of time rather they spent practicing and the number of activities they have uh, rehearsed, those metrics for the group and also the global amount of time practiced and the number of activities uh, undertaken across the world. And you can see we've got over 100,000 um, completed activities by our, our user base worldwide. So that is it in a nutshell. ESIM, portable, accessible, take home laparoscopic box trainer, surge track software that provides you a training curriculum, gives you objective performance metrics and wraps all that together in an online portfolio that you can use for demonstrating skills progression, uh, both for trainees during training and also for uh, trained surgeons to demonstrate continuing professional development.
please uh, see the website eosurgical.com for more information or um, email us at info at eosurgical.com. Uh, we'd love to get in touch.